Jeff, thanks. With more rain on the way, flooding concerns are rising, and tonight we are looking at what's being done to prevent it. Almost two years ago, voters passed go bonds. Now new at 10, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall dug deeper to find out where those projects that you're paying for stand right now. The good news is the city is on track when it comes to the flood control projects in the go bond. But the bad news is flooding is still going to impact your neighborhoods for years to come. Sometimes when it rains in Brookside, it pours and then it floods. You come to live with some water, um, but when you get seven, eight inches of rain in 48 hours, most people get a lot more water. A few of them get a lot more too. Bringing raw sewer, stuff that comes from raw sewer. Work to help alleviate this flooding, thanks to the GEO bond, is underway. Here at the Dotson Project off 71 Highway and 87th Street and a couple other places. We also have the Swope Park Industrial Area also on the Blue River. Final phase of the Turkey Creek Flood Control Project under construction and that will help to address a lot of the flooding that happens on Southwest Boulevard. That leaves lots of people in different areas of the city underwater. My neighbors traditionally down the road or down the hill as it were end up getting a lot more unfortunately. They have not been forgotten. Uh, what we are trying to do first is get rid of all of those projects that were part of the federal money that we had received. The GEO bond put 150 million dollars toward flood control over 20 years. Right now we're in year two. This homeowner supports the effort. Absolutely for yeah. I believe that um, you have to pay to get things right. Even if another storm could always be on the horizon. The city is large enough that we have about a 50 year flood somewhere in the city every single year. 10 different spots in the city had to be barricaded like this all because of high water and it takes a few departments to pull it off. Check out this barricade. You see that PW that stands for public works. Emergency management is already keeping its eye on the forecast for the next couple of days because they may have to put more of these up to keep you safe in Kansas City. Dia Wall, 41 Action News.